and good morning here in New York uh, just visiting here at my old apartment uh, just here for a couple of days heading back gonna be taking a short vacation probably in Virginia Beach and then off to Arizona we're gonna be starting a contract in our next location it was supposed to be Massachusetts but it kind of fell through so it kind of is what it is now that I got a couple of days off makes it a bit easier but we're so busy uh, just running errands lately but in this particular video, we're going to talk about uh, Nick Merckx, who is obviously in the gaming space. He's a very large YouTuber and uh, Twitch personality, a Twitch gamer. He's a streamer. And just recently, you know, people were talking about what was going on in California, right? You had the Armenians, American Armenians, as well as members of the Muslim groups who we're basically pushing back against what the school board down there in California uh, were doing with their kids, you know, teaching them things that the parents don't want them to learn about certain groups in America and sexualization of children, etc. And of course, Nick's Mer Nick Merckx made a comment on somebody's tweet. Somebody posted a tweet. Nick Merckx made a comment saying the issue is about the kids. They just need to leave the kids alone. And that little comment was enough to get Nick Nick Merckx removed. Uh, Call of Duty announced a Call of Duty announced that Nick Merckx bundle will no longer be available in the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone stores following the quote unquote controversy surrounding the streamers recent tweets about Pride Month. And of course, this, you know, one thing you always have to keep in consideration how people are able to make it to certain levels of uh, fame, etc., is because you, you have to sell a portion of your soul to the devil. And the reason people make that comment, it goes way back to in the Bible and the Gospels. And it talked about where the Bible says that uh, the devil showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. And he says, I'll give you all this. If you just do one act of worship, and that's all that it took. For me, if you remember during during the pandemic, they were offering uh, kids, uh, they were offering people, you know, <clears throat> depending upon the area. If you liked fishing, if you were out in the country somewhere, they're like, we'll give you a year's worth of free fishing, hunting, give you a hunting license for free. You're a college student, we'll raffle a Tesla, we'll give you uh, scholarships, right? In I think California. They were offering uh, shots of Hennessy and marijuana joints, depending on like, these different places. Whatever you whatever you wanted, they were like, just take that thing, right? If you just take that thing, we'll give you whatever you want. They were giving homeless people here in New York a hundred dollars. In the hospital that I was at, they were giving people up to a thousand dollars in Amazon gift gift certificates, right? Because what was more important was your loyalty, right? Your obedience was more important. It didn't matter how much money, we'll forgive this, we'll give money, we'll give whatever you want. What is it gonna take? And that was basically what the devil did to Jesus. I'll give you everything. God offered you a kingdom, I'll give you the one I got right here on earth. I'll give it all to you. I don't need you to die. I just need you to do one act of worship to me. And all this can be yours. And so a lot of these individuals that you wonder, how do these people become so famous? It's because for a lot of these people, they got to they gotta do something, right? You see a lot of these individuals who you see that the list, right? The steam list. And people get arrested, but it's all kept quiet. It's all kept very quiet. And a lot of this is real. A lot of people think, people know about it. They see acts of uh, ophelia of some sort with children. And they wonder, what's going on? Why isn't this being exposed? It's because this is they hold this stuff over your head. And when you step out of line, they bring you they bring you right back. Or they just kind of do what they do with individuals like Nick, with Nick Merckx. They start pulling away like what they did with Kanye, right? Like what they did with uh, Kanye West, where they pulled all of his deals, they deplatformed him, they unbanked him, etc. And it's because the entire system revolves around stuff like this. And when you fall out of line, even if it's something as simple as a tweet, and of course, he has a lot of reach. So obviously, that's why they're going at him so far. We're going to pull away a little bit at your monetary. 
We're gonna pull a little, a little bit from your monetary. We're gonna pull a little bit of funding from you. We're gonna see if you fall back in line. They'll tell you, oh, you come back in line. You know, put out a, I, I misspoke. You know, I was uh, caught up in the emotions. You know, uh, we love. You know, these people wave a little, you know, rainbow flag, etc. That's that's what they want to see. That's how Kanye West was able to get back into uh, uh, their uh, well, their good graces, right? Because he had fall back in line. That's how many of these people. That's why you see, if you look at the cover of um, 1984, you'll see something on the cover, right? And that's kind of why you see like Jay Z and like a lot of different people, right? They do stuff like this or like this, right? It's because they're they're signaling, right? They're signaling to their peoples. It's getting louder in New York. This is this is what it's like living in New York. You hear all the sirens everywhere. But Nick Merck's gonna learn the hard way. He thought he had the freedom of speech on you know the quote unquote free free uh, speech platforms of Twitter. You could say what you want, but it doesn't mean you're not gonna get backlash as a result. And so we'll see what Nick Merck's is gonna do. Is he gonna hold the line? And I talked about this in another video because America and many of the West don't have the population, right? That's where there's there's so much jobs, people looking for jobs, people looking for employees, they can't find anybody. You know, the narrative is I can't find people to work. And the, realistically, you have too many people retiring versus how many jobs that are needed. And of course, as more people retire, there are gonna be more needs to take care of those people. And so we gotta pull people, right? We gotta pull people from the border. But the people that we're pulling from don't necessarily share the same appreciation for some of these quote unquote marginalized groups. And this is why I said in one of my last videos that the people who end up, you know, the, the strong men that end up coming into the community, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be you. And this is why you're seeing people look at the, the Muslims and they see the violence and people become fearful. And this is actually good, right? There's that expression. When you're afraid of the government, that's tyranny. When the government is afraid of you, then that's what you want. You want them to recognize who is in charge, that the people are the ones who are paying your salaries. You're supposed to do, you're supposed to be our representation, not the representation of many of these other groups. And so there was fights going on down at California, the people, you know, there was the Tifa people that were down there for the Rainbow Coalition. And it broke out into some violence. And of course, the police are always there to save the Rainbow Coalition because at the end of the day, they work and protect the interests of the state. Even though, of course, the, you know, the motto is serve and protect. But it's who do they serve and protect, right? At the end of the day, the king's men protect the king, right? Even though in America, we don't refer to them as kings and queens and lords, etc. But realistically speaking, they work for who pays them. Same thing with the military, even though we got the thank you for your service, right? The back to blue nonsense. But at the end of the day, these people work and serve for their interests. And so if they have to trample upon your rights, if I gotta shut down your business, if I gotta throw you in jail, if I have to violate your first and second amendment, hey, that's what I'm getting paid to do. At the end of the day, there's people in the military who have been straightforwardly said that. If push comes to shove and they put out some sort of a lockdown that we're going to follow. You would think that they're going to follow the Constitution. That is not the case. They're going to follow the people that pay their checks. Some people might fall away, but at the end of the day, somebody will go in there who will do it for money. And Constitution be damned. Your rights be damned. Right? First, uh, First Amendment for Nick Merckx be damned. Don't matter. Right? So this is kind of what is moving forward. And this is what is referred to as a social credit system, right? So when you step out of line, you say things that we don't like you to say, you're a little too popular to be saying what you're saying, we gotta reel you back in. Nick Merck's finding out the hard way. And what it also does, of course, is other people who maybe are in the same position as him, they're a streamer, they're a YouTuber, etc. It serves as an example. Right? We'll make an example out of Nick Merckx. You you go out of line, this is what can happen to you. And for a lot of these people, this might be the only thing that they know how to do. The only thing that they know is content creation. How else are they going to be able to get 
the type of money that they get, right? So then at the end of the day, it'll call into question what's more important to you, your morals, your values, or your, your ethics, whatever it is that you stand for, your religious beliefs, or is it at the end of the day, the almighty dollar? Some of these people would not be able to fall back on living a normal life because they're so used to living this sort of life. And you get placed there, right? You get placed, that's how you see all these movie stars and how do they get to where they do? They're picked, just like these presidents, etc. They're picked, they're picked and they're put in their position. And for the purpose of controlling, they're closer to the people. You say what you wanna say. That's why the Biden administration uh, with the whole rainbow coalition, what did they start doing? They started grabbing TikTokers, why? They're closer to the people spread our propaganda it is what it is it will be this way and it will continue to get worse until all of this comes to a conclusion of things but this is why you see that this is why you see a lot of this stuff it's now it's to the point where it's it's all in your face there's no more hiding right the mask is off the the velvet glove has been removed and it's just the the strong hand of the state it is what it is and this is what people have been led to want right they've given these people their authority they've abdicated their responsibility for their for themselves and they've given it to them and when you step out of line this is what you get this is what you get it can come to an end if enough people push back but at the end of the day realistically speaking the military would step in they would utilize force but as you see with many of these men in the community when, and I said this before, with men, when logic and reason fail, the only thing that's left is force. And so these parents, these Muslim men, these uh, Armenian men, they understand that. They understand that. If you're not willing to listen to what we say, if you're taking our money, right, taxation without representation, if you're not willing to listen to what we say, then there's nothing left but force. And when those men make that choice, the state will come in with force. And then it's just a matter of who's going to back down and a continued escalation. And if these men aren't willing to continue to push back against people in uniforms, then the state's already won. And they've, in essence, co-signed their children to indoctrination by the state. And there's nothing that they can do. Once you cuck, the sharks smell blood in the water and they're going to go all out. You saw, look what happened with Trump, right? Trump cucked during last year when he said, I ain't leaving, brought all his people down there, and then did nothing. And look what happened to him now. This is what happens when you cuck, when you back up. The moment these people smell even a little bit of fear, they go all in against you. You think that it's going to all be peace, we're going to wave a white flag, and everything's going to be cool? That's not the case. Once they know they got you, everything calms down for a bit, and then they go after you all the way to make an example of you. It is what it is. This is what happened in the age of weak men. Weak men create hard times. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch, and I'll catch you next time. I want to see what's going to happen with Nick Murph. What do you think? Is he going to make a retraction? Is he going to sit there? Is he going to wave the white flag? Is he going to wave the, the rainbow flag and say, you know, we support you? If, if he doesn't, you're going to see more pressure coming from companies, right? Like Activision pushing back against what he said. Simple tweet. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.